あれもはるかすくい。<笑>1953, Watson and Crick presented the double helix model structure of DNA. The study of molecular biology started in earnest at this point. And molecular biology is a new field and has developed very rapidly in recent years. So almost all of today's, almost all of today's high school students learn the knowledge, um, which only specialists did know of. You know, 50 years ago. So how Tonegawa Susumu meet biology? He didn't take biology when he was a high school student, and his chemistry grade was good. So he thought, I want to be a chemical engineer. So I want to enter the chemistry department in Faculty of Engineering in Kyoto University. But the competition rate was very high, so he thought it was. Maybe difficult, and he found there is there also is a chemistry department in Faculty of Science. So he he thought maybe I can enter <laughs> here. The competition rate was lower, so he entered this faculty. He didn't know even know that people's our our bodies consist of cell until he took a gen, general education class in in the university. When he and when he became a third year student, he thought chemistry was was not so interesting. He thought chemistry is already com、mm, completed field,、uh, but he so he gradually think gradually thought that it is maybe not a good way for me to be, be a chemistry engineer, and but he didn't want to be a white collar worker either. So he was in trouble.、And、one day, his friend, one of his friends, introduced Yamada to him. Yamada was maybe graduate student and very interesting and excellent person. And he said,、uh, molecular biology has started in America and Europe, and it it's going to be very interesting. <coughs> so Yamada was, was very impressed and、uh, thought it would be interesting. Result interesting to. Results life phenomena. After that, he thought it was meaningless to learn more about,、um, take more class or study about chemistry. So after that, this day, all he studied was biology. But、uh, of course, his、um, department was science. His 
his department was chemistry and his love lottery was about chemistry. So one, one day his professor asked him, what are you studying? He answered, molecular biology. He, uh, I want to be a molecular biologist, so I won't study chemistry and I won't write a graduation thesis. The good point was the professor's, per professor's personality. He said, if you have a presentation about what you are studying now, and if the presentation is good enough, you can graduate. And he did. The presentation was um, actually good enough, so he, he could graduate without writing any graduation studies. <laughs> <laughs> After graduating, he went to Kyoto Graduate School, 1963. And Professor Watanabe asked him, do you really want to be a molecular biologist? He answered, yes, of course. Then go to America. Because um, molecular biology was a very new field that day. So there was no place to study about molecular biology in earnest in Japan at that time. So he decided to study abroad. This is a chart, uh, his career of uh, deciding to study abroad. First, he went to the University of California, and after he finished the curriculum, he entered the Seoul Institute for <coughs> Biological Studies. Maybe he was uh, studied here for two years. After that, he went to the Baza Institute for Immunology, and now he is in MIT. So next, I will talk about his, his main study. His, his study is related to anti, antibody. antibody. Okay. Um, if we have a sick, if we have a cold, we have a, some illness, um, we can recover, recover. This is thanks for the immune system. And antibody is playing an important role in the immune system. So if we don't have antibodies, and if we don't have immune system, we, I, um, we will die. And all of the antibodies are shaped like Y. But with looking at the details, we can find that there are many variations. There are slight differences. <coughs> and uh, you can see. <laughs> the green ones can kill the uh, antigens because the sh uh, uh, they fix because um, but uh, others can't kill them because they <laughs> they can't fix. Uh, so the antigens and the antibodies are in one to one correspondence, like a key. Mm -hmm. And in this field, there was a big mystery. There was a big mystery. How many kinds of antigens are existing in this world? Uh, it is said more than ten billions. Uh, it means that we we must have more than ten billions uh, antibodies. Um, but we have only we have only about. Uh, 30,000 to 50,000 gene. There is a gap, um, like a dilemma. So this was a very big problem in this field. People call generation of diversity mystery, G-O-D mystery, code mystery. Um, many scientists tried to uh, unravel this problem, but couldn't. Astomega tried to. He focused, <coughs> focused on Darwin's uh, theory of evolution. Uh, you, as you know, characteristics, children's characteristics are inherited from their parents. Uh, but sometimes gene recombination and mu mutation occur. Uh, this is a um, picture, and I think maybe giraffes have. Uh, only one child. <laughs> so this is um, just like an image. 
So I think I see the strong, strongest or more, most suitable for environment type will survive. And we weaker one or not suitable one will become extinct. Onegawa found the same system was uh, in immune system. Onegawa found the uh, yes, same principle in immune system. DNA recombination is occurring in immune system. It enables to make about uh, <laughs> 28 million bees, uh, <laughs> million uh, antibodies. Many scientists um, um, sorry, uh, plus mutation often happens in DNA. The difference from, difference from this system and Darwin's theory of evolution is speed. Maybe as um, we and many species change, change their forms, um, and that take, took very long time, very long time. But in this, what? Uh, antibodies, very high mutation and DNA recombination occur at very high speed. So we can fight to we, fight, we can fight to the enormous number of antigens. Conclusion. He realized a system which enables us to fight with various illnesses. Um, many Maybe you can't understand how how wonderful the study is from my presentation, but one of the selection committee committee members said this is a great great discovery once in a century, and I I thought what is the big point of this study? But it was it was very difficult to find, but I think not only his study. Um, such sensitive field like related to DNA or brain, um, like the, I think relating relating directly to humans or way way to live way to live mm -hmm. study must be studied very carefully. It involves yeah, yes, it, maybe such such study develop. It has good in influence, of course, but it has risk also. So we, if, uh, when we study about this field, yes, consider carefully what is the best way to um, have a good impact on society. And <laughs> most important thing is enjoy studying, I think. There is a reference. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Uh, my name is Mohan and I'm from Vietnam. This is the most impressive uh, Japanese presentation I have uh, <laughs> This is the most impressive one from Japanese. So, <laughs> now currently, where he studied in Japan or in America? Uh, Mr. Konegawa currently, where he studied right now? Oh. He studied in America mm -hmm. or he came back to Japan? Ah, he's no, 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 not studying in Massachusetts. Yes, yes. 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 And he's now studying about what? Brain science or neuroscience? Um. <laughs> neuroscience. Neuroscience. So just as you mentioned at the last part of the slide, he found mm -hmm. that you should not just study DNA but also the brain. Why linking the brain to DNA? Mm -hmm. Um, I thought um, if we, um, develop, we develop the study relating to DNA or brain, um, we, have, um, we will have a new technology or what, what. Um, <laughs> I, I felt it is a little da dangerous. Um, <laughs> uh, I uh, if we know about our brain completely, we can we can control it. 
in a very illegitimate way. Mm, yes. Does anyone else have any questions? Questions? Yes. Um, yeah, my name is Andre. I'm from Indonesia. So perhaps uh, this question is somehow not related to Susumu Tonegawa. So but I'd like to know your opinion on like deciding like the path of your life maybe. So uh, you said in the, uh, in the beginning that you love to draw and uh, love to draw and draw some things and I would like to ask uh, why don't you become like a manga artist or something oh. instead of, <laughs> of doing research so because you said also there uh, you like <coughs> enjoy what you are doing or studying so mm. what makes you choose yeah so for, uh, just wondering uh, what makes you choose uh, doing here. research uh -huh. instead of like doing what you love most like maybe drawing or something Mm. Maybe this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in fact, when I was a high school student, I, I thought mm, I want to enter uh, art school, or, and, but I want to study something, um, something or ah, uh, sorry, but I, I thought if we <coughs> if we enter like here um, and. Uh, the university with, with a, um, which is not um, which has no relating to art. Maybe I I can draw because I love drawing. With, uh, um, outside of uh, here, <laughs> but if I go to art school, maybe I I won't study sociology or. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I would like to add to that. Actually, I am an artist also. I do watercolor paintings. And I am asked that question also. And I think it's very important for today's scientists to realize that with the trend towards specialization, everyone must do one thing. That's not really so healthy, even for scientists. A scientist, as Watanabe Kung has mentioned, also needs to know something about poetry. He mentioned it in a roundabout way because he knows about Iroha. How many people here know about Iroha? Okay, how many people are studying Japanese? One. One person. Okay, study Japanese also <laughs> while you're in Japan. So, if you go one way, you look at all the options. What can you do otherwise in that direction? If you can do something else, then gather all of your talents and make sure that you are in control. Haruka-san has wonderful control. And then he was successful, and then he decided that chemistry is not so interesting, and he went to the United States. Why did he decide to go abroad rather than Japan? I believe you mentioned molecular biology was not very popular in Japan at the time. Is that the main reason that he went abroad? Yes, um, <laughs> as the book said, uh, yes, um, his professor said, even my laboratory, you can't study molecular biologist in honest. So if you, uh, if you want to be a molecular biologist, really, um, really want to be, then go to America. Oh, his professor recommended that. Oh, I see. And then, besides the United States, was he interested in other countries? Ah, uh, he loved he loved America, but oh. in Canada. 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 Um, he loved America, but his visa visa is English. Visa. New book visa. Yes. Was run out, so oh. he <laughs> he had to go another country. And his promise uh, said go to. <laughs> Maybe here. Okay. Any other questions here? Any other questions here? So, whatever you couldn't answer today, look up and polish up and then okay. send it to me and we'll pass it out to everyone else. 
Okay, thank you very much again.